right, hello everybody. Good Monday to you all. Hope your weekend was good. Mine was okay, but I didn't have internet for the entire weekend. Hey, Sojan. So yeah, while I wanted to try the Diablo beta while the kids were asleep, that did not happen at all. Hopefully this sounds good, Sojan. I know you'll say something if you can't hear me. <sighs> and sorry, I have a little bit of, like, uh, congestion, too, so, uh, feel like I'm starting to kind of stuff up or come down with something, so, eh, that's always fun. But, uh, hey, Dr. Refutable, how are ya? But yeah, uh, so, I got a few of the mechs with the blue painted on the cockpits. Sweet! And then I got some red on the cockpits. Now, the uh, my buddy said, well, keep it as a mix. So, all right, here we are. So, tonight, I sense you wish to continue your search for young Skywalker. Hey, Ty. So we're going to work on painting some guns right now and uh, missiles. And then uh, I'll try and work on the rims of the uh, bases too, which uh, might have you guys help me pick out the color for that. Or should I just go straight up black and just keep it neutral? Right, there's one vote for black. <laughs> I figured you meant hello there, but you accidentally did the uh, raid sound. So. Alright, we're just going to go straight up. Iron Hand Steel on the weapons uh, for the bases like should I go black should I go with like another color because uh, Scotty of course went uh, whatever color and it devolved into a uh, rim job joke well actually I just what Turned it into a rim job joke right away because, uh, as Sojan knows, if you know Scott, it was going to go there. So I just figured I'd just drive that bus right off the cliff from the get-go. Black or super dark blue. Okay, okay. But I hope everyone's weekend was good. Oh yeah, and I did do an update on uh, Dark Tide. I was kind of farting around with that a little bit earlier today. Once I found out my internet was back. So. Yeah, maybe next time uh, we all run together, Sojan and Dr. Refutable, I might be using a plasma gun rather than a uh, las gun. Not sure yet, though. Because, I'll be honest, I do like the obscene amount of uh, ammunition I have with the last gun I'm using currently. It burns, it cleanses. Yep. Moist. 
Hey there, buddy. So why'd you change your name, Man on Fire? It's just that, that just because that's about how you feel? Okay. Alright, I'll hydrate. Kind of need it. Okay. So, bit of column A, bit of column B. Yeah, because Man on Fire used to be Discernment Bugatti. And apparently that was a bit much. You know what? I'm here. I'm just going to get that. Oh, well, I guess you learned something. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking, too, Ty. Like, yeah, it's just... Sound like a yeah, high-end motorcycle or just, like, you know... Okay, what do you think of that? Just the metal guns like that, and then uh, for all of these missiles, do you guys want to see me paint it on stream, or do you want me to just kind of uh, hand wave and do that off stream? Oh, yep, okay, yep, see? See, they got you there. He used to own one. So, boom. Roasted. Yeah, and the rest of this, I might just leave black. I don't feel like picking out too many other details. I'm, I'm happy with how it looks right now. Might as well paint the missiles now. Okay. Alright, I was thinking of going, uh... Probably red. Since I have black there. Yeah, again, sorry guys. I think I am coming down with something. I've done like a few nasal, uh, like, you know, uh, cleanses, stuff like that. It might just be an early, it might just be crashing right after the stream, too. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Uh, if it's any consolation, I had all four kids and no internet the entire weekend. So, same? Uh? 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 No, not the same. Not the same at all. <laughs> You've been in physical pain. I just didn't have internet. It's the same thing, right? <laughs> hey, and to me and uh, delayed captures credit. Uh, we actually kept them quite busy all weekend long. So So I feel pretty proud of that.
I want to eat, but I'm afraid of getting a, a bigger bowel pain. Uh, okay, so... I'm I am truly sorry, man. Dude, okay, see, yeah, there, there's the good part of uh, cannabis and weed there. Be, so you'd be able to eat. Uh, let's see, how's... That didn't really show up too good on stream, did it, guys? Or is it actually showing up good enough for y'all? Alright, then I'll do, I think this is dry enough, I will do a shade over the metallic bits here, just to kind of give it that, uh, uh, the, I actually did paint all, all the missiles. There we, here, let's just, there we go. There we go. Yeah, maybe I'll just keep it at this. Uh... Trust me, it's there. Okay. Need to learn to try and clean these out more before stream, you know? Where would be the fun in that, though, right? See me lean over a trash can, scraping out gunk out of a pallet so I can use washes again.
At least, though, like, when you use metallics in these, they just peel off nicely. As I try to show part to the camera that's not there right now. <laughs> yeah. Just cleaning paint stuff. Just that's it. go leave him off to the side to dry okay so now question on this guy he's got like these like almost like pseudo missile pods here should I color those in or leave them. And otherwise, uh, and yeah, I think I'll get the barrel here silver, but I might leave the rest of this casing here black. Then I'll get these silver. Color those in. Yeah, it'd add a nice little splash of color, wouldn't it? All right, we'll do that foist then. Probably go red again. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. God, that's not really showing up. Well, trust me, guys. In person, looks kind of cool just having a little bit of red there. All right. At least one of us can. <laughs> yeah, reminds me of a joke a uh sorry saw yeah again gareth cleaning stuff it's getting a blood draw at the doctor's you know just standard test and whatnot and i said yeah you know i'm i'm not afraid of needles i just don't like watching the uh ooh it does sound good 
yeah, I was saying, yeah, I just don't like watching the needle go in. So, I'll, I'll look away. The nurse goes, that's cool, I'll look away too. I don't like watching it go in either. <laughs> and I at least chuckled right away. And they go, you'd be surprised how many people are just so nervous that they don't get that joke. You know, the one sticking you is just like, yep, I'm scared of needles too, I'll look away too. <laughs> Just go this far with Yeah, and Dr. Refutable, if you know what any of these weapons are, feel free to just kind of uh, chat about them, if you will. Because I know a few off the top of my head, but uh, not many. Oh, yeah. Well, I can imagine, uh, you know, this was like one of their really first, uh, their first really big open betas. And with only a limited amount of servers, I can only imagine. Yeah, the only one I recognize out of this is the Mad Cat right there. Or Timberwolf, I think, is what it's called by the, uh, uh, clans. Good, good. Yeah, I heard good things about the story. Like another buddy of mine who actually helped me build my computer. Uh, he wanted me to play in the open beta too. And he's just like, oh, I'm just loving the story, but I'm just, I, I, he hadn't finished it yet. Okay, should I leave this part here gray? Or should I paint it silver? I'm kind of liking how it looks right now, though. Leave it as is. Yeah, Mad Cat is pretty much, yeah, the, the poster boy for, uh... Which, yeah, how about that, uh announcement that uh, the lion is back. <clears throat> Valrak was right. Foilrak was right. Yeah, because yeah, uh, we went to Miniature Apothecary stream, and then he's like, oh yeah, they released the lion. So, that happened during my Wednesday stream, so I haven't had a chance to talk about it yet. Uh, love the new model. Of course, I'm going to get it. Yeah, the lion is back, and he is pissed. Has very, very, very Tywin Lannister feel to him. But honestly, I think that's perfect for the character. And yeah, this one almost looks like an atlas, but not quite.
They said he was hunting chaos. Or whatever, but... Okay, and I'm going this far on this gun. Because I got some gold on one side, so I might as well make it all even. Yeah, that's what I heard too, is that he's been out hunting hunting chaos and stuff for 10,000 years. Which is why he looks so old. Compared to Robo Girly Man, who's been in stasis for better part of 9,000 years or something like that. Any other things on here you think I should paint silver? I'm just kind of going uh, simple enough with all these weapon systems. And then this boy has like the the monarch like wrist gauntlets here. Just curth whip. And yes, I mean the monarch from Venture Brothers. almost like I'm doing dry brushing, but it's not really dry. It's more like moist brushing, I guess. Let me know if I slip off camera, guys, and sorry for the fluorescent green paint on the bottom here.
This does almost, like, painting some of this stuff almost makes me want to, uh, play Battletech on the PC, which I don't even remember if I have, well, no, because I, uh, just did a fresh install on that. I don't think I had any of the Rogue Tech stuff in there, so wouldn't jack up anything. Maybe we'll just have to go into endless career mode. All right. Now we'll get a little bit of wash on there. Just to help dingy it up just a little bit. And then, yeah, you guys are thinking just straight up uh, black. Four Z bases. Oh, hey, helps if I... Yeah. Hey, Kiko. How are you, bud? Good, good, good. Did you get a chance to play the Diablo beta this weekend, or not really? I didn't. Back from 10,000 years of slaying chaos, huh?
was trying to think of what black to use. Eh, maybe I'll just use a badden black. Right, Kiko? Uh, uh. Well, I would have liked to have played the beta, but, you know, my internet provider decided, nah, we're not going to fix your internet until Monday morning after everyone's out. <laughs> How about I just call it the spoiler black? So that way I just don't jack up the pronunciation. <sighs> okay, and at least two of these are on bases that I can actually like paint the rims without taking them off, so that's always good. Yep. Have you been here since I've been painting my uh, Battletech commissions? Yeah, I've had these sitting in my uh, pile of potential, we'll say. Just, hell, just even in my closet for about the better part of, like, a year and a half, almost two years. that right uh, right before a big DC in the party Oh, I can imagine. Especially, like, with limited uh, servers for an open beta for a game that uh, has been waited for for... Yeah, thank you. Uh, they're... Yeah, they're from... Uh, yeah, a old battle... They're from a Battletech Kickstarter. A guy who uh, works and goes to my brother's brewery hit me up for a commission for, so if he's watching it all... Scott, I'm sorry this has taken so long, but hey, at least now I've just decided to do Battletech Mondays until everything in the box is painted. And then I'll be working on the Stompa. Yeah, they have been here for an age. Yeah, and then, like, then I have these little dudes to paint that are, like, men in, like, power. These are, like, about the equivalent of, like, space marines for size.
Yeah, I wish you could go too, man. You need to tell me when you're going so we could actually just go and hang out and toss back a few. Because his booze is actually pretty good. Oh, and uh, Soja, you'll have to uh, text me the recipe that you did for Honey Shine that changed it colors. Because I got a bottle of that right now too from him. So, which that in of itself is pretty good, just like with some citrus soda. But I know you had a. Uh, recipe that you did that like changed it colors <coughs> all right your birthday's coming up soon isn't it or did it already happen Trying to remember. October. Okay. Well, let's try to go before then. Okay. <laughs> Ed Parker tonight. I'm trying to remember Ed. Well, I hope it was a good thing. Oh. <laughs> now I really hope it was a good thing and I wasn't just being called Rex Quando. And he kind of gave me a little bit of a color scheme for those jump pack guys, which... Okay. See, I figured I'd give these two coats just to be sure. That the bases... You know, as I told Scott... I'd give him a <laughs> I'd give him a good rim job. Because again, if if you knew Scott and I know Sojan knows Scott. Yeah, the conversation just devolved to that like immediately. And we can practice martial arts for twenty years and not know how to throw a strike. True enough, true enough, especially if you have halfway decent instructors, and especially if you are an instructor. Which for a time I was, so yeah, you kind of, you kind of refine your own basics so you can actually teach other people.
Thank you. Happy to be training again, too, man. It's a good school, so... Honey shine, pineapple run, and a splash of OJ. I think that was it, and it actually changed the color. Alright, hold on. Let me... Let me write this down. So I remember there was a splash of OJ in it. <clears throat> the hell's my notebook at? There it is. <clears throat> Also, Jameson Orange Honey Shine and Sprite. Writing these down for, uh. Well, let me show you the bottle, too, bud. Hold on. You get to see my Guinness pants. Okay. All right. Well, first of all, let's close some paint. <laughs> oh, let me zoom out here just a little bit. Not zo zoom out. There we go. So yeah, like, here's his Irish American whiskey. Named after a town right by Wayne. So, which, this tastes a lot like Jameson. But, the one we're talking about is this. Honey Shine. Yes, it is purple. And it's Nebraska honey fermented and distilled to produce one of a kind liquor. Honey shine carries notes of clove and floral tones through the distillation prof process. Butterfly pea flower is added to give honey shine its unique color changing property. So, yes, this is actually like a, a bluish purple liquor. Pretty much. Okay. It is delicious. All right. So he wanted these like a blue and green, kind of like almost like a mystery machine type of vibe. So, what I'm going to do here is nope, we're going to go with pure white and we're going to do a very heavy dry brush over all of these guys. It does have a nice flavor. Where did my other 
one dry brush go? There it is. Zoom in on these guys here in just a second for you. Who decided to have five small units together on a single base like this? See, so yeah, I here's what these guys kind of look like. a different one. Yeah, douchebags, that's who. one so that way I can <laughs> yeah If I'm going just a little heavy-handed, I mean, yeah, these guys, I mean, there's a lot of, little bit of detail to them that I don't, okay, I know I'm probably selling myself short, but I don't, I don't know how well I could pick out all the details on these guys. At least not with the way my eyes have been acting lately, so... Okay... Yeah, yeah, I'm not uh, not doing that, that's for sure. For those of you wondering what Sojan is referencing, some guy who uh, painted the Lord's Prayer on a grain of rice and had to tie out the circulation on his arm to stop his heartbeat from moving his arm while he was doing it. Just let that sink in for a second. His heartbeat. 
was moving his arm too much for him to do the work. Yeah, should have just stopped your heart from beating, dur. And yeah, okay. <laughs> and I saw nice little juxtaposition here. So I'm working on these little guys, and then I'm working on like this for the Stampa. <laughs> uh. Kind of wants these guys in like a mystery machine motif because he's silly like that. And I'm trying to think of what group because I'm just going to use like some contrast paints. I could use speed paints, but if I'm going to touch up. You know what? Yeah. Let's see what other... Alright. I'll just bite the bullet and use these. As of right now, no. Use plasmatic bolt and magic blue. <sighs> yeah. Just trying to think of how to go about. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll go with green tops and blue legs. Wow! So at the very least, I'm going to use some uh, magic blue, and I'll get all of the legs on these duders done. Then yes, I'll go back and actually hit these with a little bit of varnish. Pour was really close to exactly the same from what I've seen though, plus Druid. Yeah, and honestly, I'm looking forward to uh, remake, you know, 
going uh, Necromancer, Minion Master, because those are always fun. And I'll get to kind of remake a character from a D&D game that Sojan and I were in. Sweet. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> yeah, and I heard they're kind of going the Sea of Thieves route where you can pay for cosmetics, but they don't do anything in the actual gameplay, which I'm okay with, honestly. I'm okay with, you know, having to have skill to actually play the game, or just, you know... Like in Diablo's case, like, you know, you've actually put in the time, you've ground the levels, stuff like that. So, there's something to be said about that, I think. Those hard choices, though, where you'd had to pick one of several and the others would be X'd out. What do you think of that so far, guys? Looks kind of cool, and then I'll do this plasmatic bolt up top. It's called transmog, where you got in a certain style of armor, you can make any armor look like that. Okay, so just like in uh, 3, where there were transmogs. free in beta. Alright. Uh, I didn't see more streamlined too. Alright. Well, do you guys want to keep chatting a little bit and I could do this or do we just kind of call it a night and I'll uh, tackle these off stream? Because that's what I've been doing with some of these is just doing a few things off stream just so that way I can kind of get a little bit more done. Eh, you know what? Let's just see how this looks, right? Eh, true, I think uh, Trav's Mercury Switch must have flipped. The man on fire, well, he's probably now eating, so... Protect the average. <laughs>
So what if they mix a little bit, right? Good job, Kiko. Where'd you go, bud? Proud of ya. So what are you gonna be uh painting the house, painting a few rooms? What you painting? What your boy painting? Again, uh more fun I get to get a new computer, small one. When the backlights died in mine, leaving a dark streak in the middle. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, and that sucks so, Jan, when just, yeah, a part of a monitor dies like that. There, what do you think of that, guys? Sweet. Gave myself just enough on the palette for these guys. <clears throat> yeah, paint everything, even the fish in the tank. special yeah and just say that I don't know how to not paint things when they come in and everything is just buff beige or something like that There we go. 
Actually, you know what? Those look pretty good, actually. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd say that's a good uh, spot to end the stream tonight, guys. <sighs> uh, yeah, time to get some good rest. But, uh, yeah, they do. Uh, I'll definitely have to hit them with just a little bit of varnish just to be sure that uh, I lock in the flavor, as it were, so I can do anything else. <laughs> Sinks, faucets, toilets. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for swinging by. Thanks for hanging out for so long. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, I would call the first Lance of Battletech complete. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, he has uh, packages of five mechs apiece. So... Yeah, next week, uh, aside from finishing up these little dudes, we'll be working on a new Lance. So, but yeah, I'll see you all on Wednesday where we'll be working on the Stompa. And until then, just remember, especially you, Kiko, to just keep on painting. Have a good night. <laughs>